Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions. Obviously I did say last season I will be bringing these back so here they are. But anyway, let's get straight into this video so guys you know what to do. Give us a little big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game is Brentford versus Arsenal. Brentford's first ever Premier League game. Uh, season in the Premier League I was looking for. Brentford could be a team to really look out for this season. I ain't gonna, you know, beat around the bush and that they can't be. I remember the lights of when Brighton came up to the Premier League, you know, it's... But do I think they do well against Arsenal? Well, if we go over to the Arsenal side very quickly, Arsenal have had a really disappointing pre-season, lost 1-0 to stop them in their last pre-season game. But we all do some Bert Zaka, so, you know, fair play to us on top them for doing that when he came on the pitch. As far as the result goes, I'm going to go for a Brentford win. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brentford win. I don't know why. My next one is Man United versus Leeds United. Now, this game is big for many reasons. Man United, for example, you know have been in the Premier League for so long but these two have always had a domestic rivalry you know these clubs really do have a big rivalry between both of them I don't quite know why but it's there anyway so you know Man United I think they could really be a dark horse this season you know the sorts of Sancho signing for United that could be pretty big for United as far as the league's going now with some of the Premier League Digital table, you would know well predicted all clubs to finish. If you have it, I'll make that appear at the end of this video. But anyway, going forward to this game, I'm gonna go for a draw and I'm gonna go for a one off scoreline for that one. I just think Man United might get caught out with that one. The next one is Burnley versus Brighton. Burnley, yet again, really have you know, like slight, I wouldn't say struggled, but you know really do finish the season on a low i ain't really watched the pre-season i don't really know how i've gone in pre-season if i'm being honest on the other side of that with brighton i went to the uh the last pre-season game with brighton involved and if you haven't seen that my vlog will be up and i'll make it at the end of this video but i'm gonna go for a draw i'm gonna go for a nil nil score line for that one my next one is Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Chelsea, I think, will be another, you know, real top team this season. Going up against a Crystal Palace side that basically, you know, they've lost Roy Hutchinson. They've lost, you know, quite a few key players on the pitch. I mean, I know Gary Cahill's um, got Belize. Do I think it's going to affect... Uh, Palace in any way, I do think, but anyway, I'll probably will call this uh, result a Chelsea win, and I'm gonna go for a 2 0 Chelsea win. My next one is Everton versus Southampton. Yet again, Everton have lost the likes of Theo Wilcott, I think they've lost Townsend as well. Is it gonna affect them under a new management as well? Southampton, I remember one of their pre-season games, I think they actually draw it, I can't remember who it was against, but this game could really be a good game if both teams are going to be on it. I don't think they will be this early in the season, obviously week one, so I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Leicester versus Wolverhampton. Leicester, to me, are... You know, should be a top four team. T two years in a row they've lost on the top four. Win the charity shield against City, a 98 minute penalty. Obviously not a David Jack Greenish wanted, but you know, fair play to Leicester for winning the charity shield. Wolves on the other hand, yeah, again under new management. Will will it you know really infect Wolverhampton Wanderers? I don't know. I really don't know. I'm going to stick up for a Leicester win, I think, just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. My next one is Watford versus Aston Villa. Watford, 
I'm not sure if you quite remember, but they were my dark horses at one point. Will they, you know, quite easily survive back in the Premier League? We're going to have to wait and see. But Aston Villa, on the other hand, maybe slightly struggle after losing Jack Greenlish. I know they have signed a couple of good players. Danny Ings is one of them. 25 million ain't too bad a price if I'm being honest, but I I think Aston Villa will just go and inch this one. I think uh, Watford's Nets will just play a slight part in this game. So I'm going to go for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Norwich versus Liverpool. Norwich versus Liverpool. What a big game for Norwich to come back in the Premier League to. I, I can't remember when Norwich played Liverpool in the Premier League last time. It might have been the last uh, game of the season. But I do remember Norwich having a big game at the start of their Premier League season a couple of years back. How's it going to affect both clubs? I think Liverpool will win this one quite easily. And I'll go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Newcastle versus West Ham. Newcastle versus West Ham. Very interesting game. Will West Ham live up to the expectations of last season? You know, just been out on the top four, I believe. Going up against the Newcastle side that just barely survived. This game is going to be quite interesting on both parties, I think. So, I'm going to go for a West Ham win, just about. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 West Ham win. My last one for this week is Spurs versus Manchester City. Obviously, all this uh, stuff in the air about Harry Kane not going to Tottenham training is due to his links to Man City. Where did he go? We're going to have to wait and see. I've heard nothing about him being moved yet. All I do know is that the Spurs manager does want words with Harry Kane on Monday. Will he turn up to training? We're all going to have to wait and see. Going up against a really good Man City side, even though they did lose the Charity Shield, I believe Man City will be up there again. This game really is a mouthful, and I'll be watching this one for sure. What way do I call that? I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, this video will news you be up on the Wednesday, not the Monday. The only reason I put it up today is because you know it's the start of the Premier League week. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give it a big crop thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.